Drew. Here for breakfast, facts for snacks. Okay. Weekend to weekend number two. Best beer to drink in my backyard of next summer. Canadian one last week. This week, there we go. Got the second one up. And uh, I enjoy these two every once in a while. They are quite expensive. I paid three dollars and thirty cents each. Uh, you guys already know the title. But we're going with the big Heine against the Stella Artois. Now, the only downfall I have with Stella Artois right now is they are getting uh, produced by Labatt here in uh, Canada instead of coming across the sea. So they're only 473 mil for the same amount as this 500 mil. Come on, stop contract brewing these things. I hate it. So we're going to open up the Stella first. And the Stella, and the Stella, Stella Artois. First brewed in 1366, I believe, right? 1366 um, as a Christmas brew. But, uh, and Christmas is what? Three weeks from now? It's going in my uh, happy hour glass. Oh, give this a sniff. Give this a sniff. Eight weeks of this, and then we'll. Uh, Runners up, and then blah blah blah, and then we'll see who wins after 21 weeks of this. Every weekend, another beer for you guys. Nerve versus. Anyways, that looks nice. Upside down snowfall a little bit. Um, a little malty, a little hoppy. There's not much going on in here. Not much going on at all. But, um, we'll have a sip of this in a minute. Let's get over to this Heine right now. Heineken. Heineken. First brewed in 1873. 5% alcohol. Same as that. There it is. 500 mil. Don't get me started on that. Um, that's going in my Flying Monkeys glass. So we could tell the difference. Probably tell the difference of these two anyways. Um, because, you know, you can. I'm pretty sure you can. And I enjoy both of these. Like I said, I enjoy both of these. Uh, quite expensive though. A six pack tall cans of these are like seventeen fifty or something like that. Sixteen ninety five. Quite expensive up here. Okay, so right off the bat, Stella Artois has a cleaner smell. This is more maltier. This is more maltier. A um, little bit of hop so, but it is a little bit more hoppier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. <coughs> Excuse me, and we're going to have a sip of uh, less less upside down snowfall too. Um, if you can see, and it's a bit darker than Stella. I don't know if you can see it, but less upside down snowfall and a bit darker. So let's uh, let's go for the honey first. Oh yeah, you always know when you're drinking Heineken. I love it on tap. In a can, yes, I love my green bottle. Like Moosehead, green bottle, Heineken, Stella, green bottle. These two are right up there in my alley in a bottle. Um, very malty, a little bit of hops. It's a little rough going down. Heineken has always been a little rough going down. But uh, very tasty and uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a good beer. Now, let's go try it. Stella Artois. There we go, Stella Artois. Um, cheers. Okay. Clean, refreshing. Um, I wish it was in a 500 mil for that price, the same price. I'm losing uh, 27 mil, which you would say, ah, that's not much. Well, that's a shot, really, if you think about it. That's a shot. Um, yeah, it's an ounce. So I am losing an ounce of beer every time I get I have a can of these compared to uh, Heineken. Same price. So, but clean, crisp, a little bit more head. As this one has no head at all. A little bit more hops I, get, I find I'm getting in the Stella. Well, man, you could tell right away, man. I could. I bet you if I had a blind test, maybe I'll do one of those 
eventually next year. Ah, uh, Heineken. You can always tell Heineken. Stella, I bet you can compare, compare quite a few of these, but... It's close, though, because I enjoy both of these once in a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, the one moving on to the next round, which would be in, uh, starting in nine weeks, week nine, because we're doing eight of these, and then those eight winners are going to go against each other into four winners, into two winners, into one. You see what I mean? To the beer I'm going to be drinking in the backyard. It's the last time I'm going to say that. Anyways, for week two... Winner, that's moving on to the next round. This is close. This is good. Can I enjoy both of these? Um. All right. Hands down, guys. We're gonna have to pick Stella or Twas for this one. Um. It's close. Just a little bit rougher on the Heineken. Only downfall I have, and I. Will bitch my whole life over this is if I want if I'm getting an over the ocean beer, make it the over the ocean size. I don't want this contract brew here in in northern Ontario now because you can't make enough. If it's going to be contract brewed, make sure it's still 500 mil. So I'm going to say, Stella Artois, week number two winner. I'll be back next weekend. Oh, excuse me. With uh, week three. That one's going to be fun. Trust me. I already have them in the fridge for next weekend. Oh, excuse me again. Stella. I'm going to uh, circle you. There you go. Canadian won last week. Stella Artois won this week. There's the other six more weeks to go. To round two. Thanks for watching guys. My name's Drew. Everyone knows that. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks, is out.